This is Continental Update, where we update you on news and everything that's going on on African continent and around the world. Today we are going to talk about Central African Republic. What was Central African Republic called before? From 1976 to 1979, the country was known as the Central African Empire. During the colonial era, the country's name was Ubangi Shari, a name derived from the Ubangi River and the Chari River. The history of the Central African Republic is roughly composed of four distinct periods. The earliest period of settlement began around 10,000 years ago when nomadic people first began to settle, farm, and fish in the region. The next period began around 10,000 years prior, connected to external commercial routes until the 17th century. At that time, slavery became an important factor in Central African history, as Arabic-speaking slave traders extended the Trans-Saharan and Nile River trade routes into the region. Before the mid-19th century, these slave traders, captives were sent to North Africa, where they were eventually sold to countries such as Egypt, Turkey, or down the Obangi and Congo rivers to the Atlantic coast to slave ships that transported them to the Americans. The French were ultimately successful and named it French Congo, later French Equatorial Africa. With its capital of Brazzaville, the French colonies included Ubangi Shari, which later became the Central African Republic, Chad, Gabon, and the Middle Congo, which became the Republic of the Congo. Later in the mid-19th century, the Bumbangi people from the Umbangi River area, who had become major slave traders, raided the nearby Bayamangia peoples for captives in exchange for captives. The slave traders received arms, which allowed them to continue to raid for more slaves. Though these raids largely ended by the end of the century, they continued in the north until 1912. When the Akuti fell, the slave trade disrupted the societies in its wake and depopulated the region. It also created lasting tensions between ethnic groups. The ruling elite is still represented today by many Central Africa because they tend to come from riverine groups to the Bobangi. During the last two decades of the 19th century, Belgium, Great Britain, Germany, and France competed for control of equatorial Africa. Belgium, Germany, and France each wanted the region that would eventually become the Central African Republic. The French were ultimately successful and named it French Congo, later French Equatoria, Africa, its capital at Brazzaville. The French government pleased large tracts of land to private European companies in order to avoid paying for the development of its Central Africa possessions. It also placed few controls on their activities in exchange for an annual rent these firms exploited the land and dominated the people. Company overseers forced both men and women to together wild rubber, hunt for ivory and animal skins, and work on plantations, unable to cultivate their own fields. Because of their labor demands from European companies, they experienced food shortages and famine because they were forced to work in new environment where they were exposed to sleeping sickness, 
new strains of malaria and other diseases, the death rate substantially increased. By the beginning of the 20th century, frontiers had been established for the Ubangi Shari colony by the European powers. Many Africans resisted French control and several military expeditions in the first decade of the century were needed to crush their opposition. The Congo War, a rebellion 1928 to 1931, was a widespread, though unsuccessful, anti-colonial uprising in the western and southern parts of the colony. After it was suppressed, its leaders were imprisoned and executed, and populations of the Central Africans were forcibly relocated to colonially designated villages where they could be supervised. The French colonial administration did create a network of roads and a mobile health system in Ubangi Shari to fight disease and Roman Catholic churches set up schools and medical clinics. However, the French also used the Central Africans for forced labor to increase the cultivation of cotton and coffee as well as food crops to supply French troops and labor crews. The French conscripted Central Africans and sent them to Southern Congo to construct the Congo Ocean Railway, which linked Congo to Point Noel. The former French colony of Ubangi, Shari became the Central African Republic upon independence in 1960. Facts about Central African Republic. It's one of the poorest countries in the world. It's home to the world's second largest rainforest. It's also one of the best places in the world for stargazing. It's a multicultural country. It's rich in biodiversity. It's home to an impressive waterfall. 